Let's prepare on the TRB Polytechnic Exam 2017 Civil Engineering Question Paper. Question number 36. In case of the circular arches, the following equation will be used. So which of these? So they have given a semicircular arch here and they have given the various measurements. So if you see a triangle is visible there, no? So just they have used the Pythagoras theorem here. So here R is the hypotenuse of that triangle and the one side is x and the other side is r minus yc plus y so that will give you the other side of the triangle so just by using these three sides of the triangle we have used pythagoras theorem and, and we'll get the answer is b option b will be the answer r square is equal to x square plus r minus yc plus y the whole square that is option b will be the answer here Question number 37. The fixer at moment at left end of a beam subjected to uniformly varying load of intensity Q at the left end and zero intensity at the right end is given by dash. So here the UVL is there over a fixed beam. So here the left end will be having a Q intensity and the right end will be having a zero intensity. So if you just take the value of that, that is the moment, fixer at moment means you will get the option minus Q L square by 20. So option A will be the right answer. The degree of redundancy of the structure shown is dash. So they have given a structure here. So we will calculate the degree of redundancy. So if you take the degree of redundancy means it is equal to the number of unknown reaction minus number of static equilibrium reaction. So as this is a beam you have to neglect the horizontal reactions. So if you neglect the horizontal reactions means you will be having only the vertical reaction and the moments there. So the number of unknown reaction will be 4. So here that at A point we will be having a moment and upward reaction and at the B and C also we will be having 1-1 one -one reaction. So these four will give you the number of unknown reaction and the number of static equations will be 2 only because we are neglecting the horizontal. So that 4 minus 2 will give you the answer 2. Question number 40. A simply supported beam is of rectangular section. It carries a uniformly distributed load over the whole span. The deflection at the center is given as y. If the depth of the beam is double, the deflection at the center will be what? So this is the question. So for the given beam with the UDL running all over the span, the deflection formula is 5WL power 4 by 384 EI. So this is the normal deflection formula for that beam. So they have given this as y. So we have taken here as del here. Okay. So so if the depth is double, that means the D is double. What will be the deflection? So that is the question. So here in this equation, if you see means I will be having a formula of B D cube by 12. So if you apply that B D cube by 12 and if you substitute 2D instead of D. So that will be doubling the depth. So we will be getting a formula as 2D cube here. So when this comes here, it will become as 8d cube. So that the whole y by 8 alone will be a different part here. So we can tell the answer is it will be equal to y by 8. So the option C will be the right answer here. And the next question 41, a bowl subjected to combined shear and tension shall satisfy the following condition. So here the option A will be the right answer. Question number 42. The maximum effective slenderness ratio for members always under tension. So it is other than the pre-tension members. Then the effective slenderness ratio will be option C that is 400. Question number 43. The thickness of the battens shall be not less than. So here option B is the right answer that is 1 by 50th of the distance between the innermost connecting lines of rivers, poles or wells. Then the question number 44. The economical depth D of the plate girder is mk by fy the whole power 1 by 3. So here also option B is the right answer. Then question number 45. 
the web crippling strength is calculated as dash so here option a is the right answer b1 plus n2 into tw into fiw by gamma m0 so this will be the answer here thank you and keep watching for the continuation of this question paper discussion